Hello, hello, and yajro everyone. As you guys can see, I'm currently underneath my mom's chayote plant that she planted this season. They're growing like crazy and they're beautiful um, and they're nice and ready to be eaten. So you guys saw earlier all the chayote that has been growing on the support system here that my dad has built. Um, it's pretty crazy because chayote grows on vines. So if you guys don't build any support, they won't be able to grow. But yes, this year they're growing so beautiful you guys can see all of this hanging in here my mom is savoring it because of how beautiful it is underneath this plant here uh, but today I'll be showing you guys a super simple uh, chayote stir fry that we like to eat in our family in Molang we call this which is um, chayote stir fried with chicken um, we'll be using the chayote here as well and then we're also going to be using the chayote vines and outer shoots because they are edible as well so if you guys have access to any chayote around you um, especially the vine the shoots as well you know definitely use it up it is edible and it is super delicious and do let me know how you guys like to eat chayote and how you like to prep your chayotes so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to prep the chayote and start cooking super simple let's go Okay, so I finished picking the outer chayote shoots or the vines. These are also edible. These are a little bit different. My dad says that if you guys want, you can leave this part here intact. You don't have to trim it off if it's still soft to eat. Um, but if it's a little bit more rough, then again, you can trim it off. But we're going to keep it as this. Uh, since they're not as fuzzy and as um, rough, compared to the pumpkin shoots and also the bitter melon shoots i'm not going to do much to these all we're going to do is just trim it so it's a lot easier to eat so just do a little bit smaller pieces here just like that and then uh, once these are into bite-sized pieces we'll just rinse it off and stir fry it these twirly parts here you guys can see the twirly parts here these here, I'm probably going to trim it off because these are more of a hassle to eat than anything than compared to the other parts of the shoots. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll show you guys how I like to stir fry it. Alright, so I did pick some chayotes as well. These, I'm just going to simply steam it. My favorite way to eat it is just to cut it into like six pieces and then just steam it. Um, because the natural sweetness comes out really, really nice and I really like that. But again, you guys can definitely boil this in soup. You can saute it, stir fry it. Uh, you can do a lot of things with chayote. It really depends on what you like and your preference. But um, if you guys notice, like for these, these have like certain uh, spots here that are kind of prickly. And since they're still a little bit soft, they don't really poke you as much. Um, but you have to be careful with it no matter what you do. So the best way for me to do this, to take them off, is just to take a knife and just kind of um, go around and like just trim it off. So that it doesn't really poke you when you're cooking it or when you're using it. So let's see. So I'm going to take care of all of these and then rinse it off really well. And I'm just going to steam it and I'm going to use probably one of these to stir fry it in with the uh, the shoots. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so since some of you guys might be curious if you haven't um, used chayote before for cooking, I'll show you guys what I like to do with it or I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside as well. So typically with the skin, if the skin is a little bit rougher, you guys can definitely use a peeler to peel it off if you guys don't want it. Uh, but these chayotes are quite pretty young and they're not as rough, so I'm gonna keep the skin on. So basically what I like to do for steaming wise, I'll just cut this in half. And then you guys notice there'll be a seed in here. And the seed is also edible. It's fairly soft, especially if you're gonna boil it or steam it. So you don't have to take it out. And the thing about using um, chayote is the flesh is fairly sticky. So if you guys want, you can definitely wear gloves so that your hands doesn't feel weird after um, you're done using it. But it's okay, I'm just gonna wash my hands afterwards. Um, so all I'm gonna do for steaming wise is I'll just put these, cut these into like thirds or fourths, depending on how big they are. And then I'll just steam it, just like this. Um, just steam it until it's nice and soft, and that's about it. If you guys are going to the store to look for chayotes, they'll be labeled chayotes. They're also known as pear, 
um, squash and in moling we like to call this dot tang but yeah that's it for steaming wise i'm going to move this aside and i'm going to show you guys how um, i like to prep it for stir fry so these two are the ones that i'm going to be using for stir frying but again you guys can definitely use chayotes for soups basic soup just cut into chunks whatever you guys like and for these what i'm going to do is this is just preference this is how my mom taught me how to do it she'll take a knife and all she's going to do is she'll go through it and kind of shred it like this kind of like if you ever made papaya salad before like the old traditional method this is how they like to do it Again, if you guys don't want to do it this way, you can definitely just use a shredder and shred it up. But um, doing it this way, you get kind of like uh, different shapes and sizes, which is which makes it pretty unique when you stir fry it. <laughs> but again, it's all preference up to you guys. So I'm going to do this and mix this in with the uh, shoots just so we have different textures in there. And then once that's shredded up like that, I'm just going to cut it like that. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that all around the chayote until it's all shredded and niced up like this. So I'm just gonna do that until that's all used up and then I'll show you guys how to stir fry. It's pretty easy. All right, so we can go ahead and start frying the outer shoots and also the chayote. So I'm gonna do a pretty basic stir fry, like any kind of stir fry you would typically have at home. Today I'm gonna be using chicken today. So I have about one to two chicken breasts that I cut up pretty fine. You guys can also use ground up meat as well, any choice of meat that you like. But since I want this dish to be on the lighter version, I'm gonna use chicken today. So in a pan, I have some oil heating up and I'm going to put some aromas in there. So I'm going to add in some lemongrass and about three cloves of garlic that I minced up. All right, I'm going to add in the chicken. You guys can definitely use pork, also turkey. And then just a little bit of salt to season the meat. All right, chicken is almost cooked since I'm using chicken breast today. Fairly quick. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the uh, shredded up chayote that we did earlier. So you can actually make this into a soup if you guys want to. Right at this spot here, just add water to it and then season it. And then that's about it for the soup. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna make this a stir fry today. Okay, I'm gonna cook out the chayote so it's semi soft. And I'm gonna add in the uh, outer shoot and then season it. And that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. All right, so the chayote is almost cooked. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the uh, chayote shoots here that I trimmed and also um, rinsed out really, really well. Go ahead and season this off. Uh, it's pretty basic. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to taste and a little bit of mushroom seasoning as well. And then I have some chili peppers to make it a little bit spicy. So I'm using about three chili peppers today. stir fry this until the stem of the chayote shoots is nice and soft and then we'll take it off the heat it's pretty simple so yeah this is pretty much it we're gonna take it off the heat and then uh, we'll serve it with some rice